I'm headed to uni right now. And just excuse me because I'm carrying like a thousand things, including a camera and another bag. But this is pretty much what it's really like to be in uni, especially fashion school. Like, I swear, it's not just me, but we're carrying like a hundred things at once, okay? Like, I know friends that literally come to school with suitcases, huge, massive suitcases like it's just fashion we're not taking a trip we're just going to school and we got like this big old roller bag anyways um i'm headed there right now i'm running late but i'm gonna make it there so <laughs> i'm hurrying you know the one thing about vlogging that i really 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 have to get used to is the fact that people are gonna look at me like i'm crazy i just need to accept it because here i am holding this big stick <laughs> with my phone on it and i'm sure people are like what it's not that weird but it's a little bit weird when it's like 10 in the morning and you just hear this girl kind of yelling in the street about her life <laughs> It's a little bit weird. That's just one thing that I really need to try and get used to if I'm gonna be doing this more often, which I definitely plan to. So do subscribe, like the video, you know, all the things that YouTubers say all the time. Just go ahead and do it. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna make my way now to the bus right now. I have made it to uni. I am actually running slightly late. This isn't even my class. To be completely honest, I'm showing up to a lecture or like a class session that's not mine. I was supposed to be here at 8.30 a.m., but now it's about 11.30, so I'm going to the second session just because um, I couldn't wake up this morning. Yeah, I'm instead gonna go to this one and hopefully the teacher's gonna be nice and still let me in. I made it to my class and Sabrina is here. Say hi. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wait for the actual lesson to start because my teacher's not in. And as you can see, we're doing something today with skeletons. I'm guessing it's gonna be some type of sketching exercise or drawing exercise. Sorry about the noise. It gets pretty loud here uh, in the studio. So I'm just gonna wait for the rest of the class to show up and then we're gonna actually start learning something. So yeah. So my friends decided to actually show up. Say hey guys. Hey. <laughs> it's Oz's birthday. Happy birthday to her. <laughs> oh my god, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Show the world what you got us. These guys want to see like nine years old drawing. <laughs> oh, I can receive? barely see. <laughs> I'm you gonna read anything on it. <laughs> That's okay. It's an effort. It's an effort that matters. <laughs> We are just about done for today. I actually got a few drawings done. They're not the best, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like my drawing skills are pretty uh, not so great, but <laughs> I'm working on them. I did get a few things done and I'm still proud of what I did. Hopefully, uh, just with this assignment, continue to improve because I really am not sure what we're gonna do with the drawings. I'm thinking that she's gonna make us make some type of like prints something like that so we'll see what's to come next but overall quite happy with what I've done and yeah just excited to see what's gonna come after this so this is super cool it looks like our teacher put all of our work out here it looks like a like a two-year-old did it though I'm not gonna lie <gasps> this one's really cool it's not mine though but that one's really cool. that's who you know who that is it looks like nursery stuff yeah where is mine oh here it is 
So we had to do this color project for that same lesson. And this one up here is fine. So I'm leaving uni and I am actually starving. I don't even know what to get. I might just get Subway. But yeah, I'm freaking hungry. So I'm gonna go eat food and then afterwards, gonna go work on my stuff, hopefully. <laughs> wow, the lighting today is so good. <laughs> I really wanted to talk about what it's like um, to do things on your own, whether you live in a big city or a small town, or even if you live around a bunch of people and have a lot of friends, but what it means to just do something by yourself. There's just one thing that you really have to understand about when it means to go and do something by yourself and the power that you have over your life when you do something on your own. You're not waiting on someone else to help you to do it or you're not procrastinating because you don't want to do it by yourself. Like you really just get up and you go for it. I think that there's an important lesson in that because a lot of people that I know, they will literally not even go eat by themselves. Whew. Guys, I'm very out of breath, so I'm gonna walk slower. <laughs> But yeah, it's just, it's one of these things that with me moving to another country, I had to come and realize that 90% of the time, I may be having to do something alone. And it's not always easy to do things alone, but it's important to be able to do things alone because you will stop yourself and you will block yourself from achieving so much if you're waiting to do it with someone else. And I'm not saying like, <laughs> You need to be like no friends or not have a boyfriend to accomplish what you want. But what I'm just basically saying is like, you can't stop yourself from doing something because you're afraid to do it alone. So that's really the moral of my whole story here. I'm running out of breath, y'all. It doesn't matter how much I walk in London, I still get tired. I still get tired, guys. And I'm carrying this big bag and I'm still tired, okay? Yeah, just overall, I really want to kind of like explain that because the number one question I get from people is like, how did I move to London or why did I move to London? But the number three question I get is, you know, who are you here with? Did you come by yourself? Like, oh, do you have family here? And the answer is always no. Like, I really just straight up got up and moved by myself. Like, I have my friend here, my friend Shauna, who hopefully you guys will meet later in a vlog, but I really had to come to understand is that I have to be comfortable with doing this by myself. So anyways, the story's kind of going on longer than it should now. <laughs> left Subway, I had my sandwich, and now I'm gonna head back to uni. I feel like so full of life, like sometimes you just gotta eat, you know? <laughs> I'm back at uni now, and I'm gonna head inside and get some work done. And just like that, it is nighttime outside. Um, I swear the time is only like four o'clock. It's completely dark. It is nighttime. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Uh, my bus is coming any minute now. So I'm gonna head home and just relax and chill for the rest of the night. I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna continue doing weekly vlogs. Hopefully I can try to upload on Sundays and maybe do something else during the week. So yeah, um, hopefully I'm inspiring people. And if not, that's okay. Just like the video and subscribe if you wanna see more. All right, take care, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what am I trying to say? I am off now, so I hope everyone has a good night or day.